Hey, it's Prepper Action, and I've been doing some research on something that's in my preps that I am definitely going to take out of my preps. Uh, that includes my uh, my prep storage. It includes my vehicle bug out bags, my three day bags, my full on five day assault pack, all of it. Well, the thing I'm taking out of my pack and my preps is this. Oh, and this. I'm giving up on hygiene completely. Just kidding. Uh, the research that I've done shows that there's an ingredient in both these products that is fairly undesirable in the long term. So, find out what that is. Stay tuned. Triclosan and triclocarban is an antibacterial and antifungal agent found in some consumer products including toothpaste, soaps, hand sanitizers, and even children's toys. Recently I came across an article that got me thinking about some items in my preps. These are personal hygiene items. The article I came across mentioned the use of triclosan and triclocarban in everyday household goods. Its efficacy as an antimicrobial agent in these products, the risk of antimicrobial resistance, and its possible role in disrupted hormonal development does remain controversial, so I did some more research. Triclosan was developed in the 1960s as a surgical scrub type cleanser. Since then, it has slowly crept into everyday household consumer goods. In September 2016, the FDA announced that effective September 2017, it would prohibit the sale of consumer antiseptic washes containing triclosan. Other studies have raised the possibility that exposure to triclosan contributes to making bacteria resistant to antibiotics. It gets worse. Researchers report in a new study done at the University of California Davis. Although the study was done in mice, researchers said the effects of the chemical on cardiac function were very dramatic. After mice were exposed to one dose of triclosan, heart muscle function was reduced by 25% and grip strength was reduced by 18%. Fish were also exposed to triclosan, about the equivalent dose as would be accumulated in a week in the wild, and this led to poor swimming performance. Researchers also exposed individual human muscle cells from heart and skeletal muscles to a triclosan dose similar to everyday life exposure, and this, too, disrupted muscle function and caused both heart and skeletal muscles to fail. In September 2016, the FDA announced that effective September 2017, it would prohibit the sale of consumer antiseptic washes containing triclosan. Because of potential health concerns spanning from antimicrobial resistance to endocrine disruption, triclosan has been designated as a contaminant of emerging concern, meaning it is under investigation for a possible public health risk. Some studies suggest that it may even cause cancer. So stop the press right there. Cancer? So, this is why I decided to get rid of these from my preps entirely. Since I had Prepping from earlier years, and this wasn't a concern, I needed to go through all of this to make sure I do not have triclosan or triclocarbine. So, question is, how would you get rid of it, or would you keep it for barter? I will provide a link to all the research articles I read for this video, so thanks for watching, Prepper Action out, and as always, be safe. Hey, it's Prepper Action, and if you like my videos, please subscribe, share, comment, and smash that like button. You can also follow me on MySpace. <laughs> Just kidding. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, Prepper Action out, and as always, be safe.